Today we're going to look at the RS11 by Calaris. Calaris has really been coming out with some really incredible designs. In fact, their XT10, which was hugely popular, uh, then they came out with the XT11, which was just a more advanced version of the XT10. Now the RS11 is their first rechargeable light. There are some really unique features about this light being rechargeable that makes it very appealing to me personally. I just love the look, the whole design of the light itself, makes this an excellent tactical light. Now of course a few of the things that come with the light, uh, Claris puts out a really nice sheath with Velcro uh, closures, has a very high quality lanyard system that is adjustable. You have a small split ring to attach onto the end of your flashlight for your lanyard. And then we have the recharging cord, which we're gonna look at the features, the unique features of this cord system itself. And we have two O-ring gaskets to be able to interchange if those get damaged. The max output on this flashlight is 620 lumens. And that's on high, then it will drop down to the medium setting, which is 150. And then it goes down to the low setting, which is 10 lumens. And in the 10 lumen setting, this flashlight will run constant for nine days or 210 hours. It does have the dual interface, and this really makes this one of the most simple designs, especially for a tactical light. First, you have the one at the top, and we're going to call the one near the bezel the top. You give it just a simple click, and you can get momentary. If you hold it down longer than 0.6 seconds, then you have constant on. Now this is the 620 lumen setting. To get to your other modes, you click and it'll drop down. Click and drop down. Now you're at 10 lumens. So it's really easy and then you click again to off. Okay, this does have a memory system in it, which I really like this memory. What you do is, when you, if you hold it in constant for longer than three seconds and then turn it off, when you turn it back on, it's gonna be in that mode. Now if we have it in the low setting for over three seconds, we can turn it off, turn it right back on. We can even get the ant. <laughs> now one of the things that I find sometimes difficult with some because the mode system can be so complicated is getting to strobe. If you go to this back setting, click it, you get instant strobe. Hold it down for 0.6 seconds, you get constant strobe. You can turn it off by either just clicking or you can turn it off by hitting the front button. So either one of the buttons cut off your strobe setting. But that makes it really good because when you're going to use your strobe typically, unless you're trying to signal for help, you need strobe quickly. And this way you can get your strobe setting, especially in a defensive situation where you need to blind an attacker. It's really very intuitive. And as you can see, there are different uh, mode pulses in the strobe setting. And of course, one of the nice features about this setup is that it is one hand. A lot of the flashlights now are coming out where you have to turn the bezel or do something with two hands. This way, everything is right here one-handed, so you're able to go down to your settings, press and hold, press and hold, press and hold, press and hold. Keep it on three seconds, shut it off, turn it back on, you've got your setting memory set now if you look on the back you can see the recharging port and you're like what in the world is that <laughs> that's what i thought but we have a usb cable that actually charges the light and then we have this little connector and the connector is magnetic and it just clicks right on that makes this extremely handy and with the USB cable you can hook this up to your computer or other devices that have USB connections and what's even better is you can put this in your car and have a USB connection and then be able to keep this charged right in your car for instant use what I really like about this cable as well is that it's a breakaway that means if you need to have a rapid response you can just pull it loose and you're ready for action Now if you'll see, there's a little detent here. This finds the connection. So if you just get kind of close, it'll make the connection. Of course, it's just a standard USB that goes right into any device that has USB uh, capability. And then you take your little connector 
and it will attach just directly. In fact, the magnetic will pull the, uh, the connection together, and then you'll notice that there is a red light right here, and what this indicates is the battery is not fully charged. Once it becomes charged, of course, this will turn green, and once this turns green, you're not to leave it any longer than one hour connected. In fact, you shouldn't leave the connection over 24 hours. This is a better look at the connection itself. It does have a really solid brass connection. And then here is the connector, the recharger connector. And again, it just really goes, it just finds the spot. Now one of the advantages to me that this light has over most of your other rechargeable, direct rechargeable lights is that it doesn't have a dedicated battery built in. You can use your 18650s to go right in to the light itself. So you can recharge your 18650 directly into the flashlight or you can remove the 18650 and put it in a basic charger to run it that way. So you have some options. This will also run two of the CR123s but let me warn you, if you have CR123s in here, you do not want to attach the recharger. It, it can cause an explosion. The contacts inside are excellent. All the way down to the bottom. Now the dark gray finish is a hard anodized finish over uh, aircraft grade aluminum. And we do have a nice stainless steel clip that can be removed or left into place. It's a pretty sturdy clip system. The RX-11 is rated for IPX8, which means that this can be submerged in water up to 2 meters. One of the things, though, you want to be careful of is if you start to degrade the gaskets, you'll need to replace them to keep that IPX rating. Of course, the best way to test the uh, submersibility of this flashlight is to drop it in the water. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn on the strobe. Let's drop it down in the water. Still going strong. Now it is impact resistant up to one and a half meters. And that's one of the things about the LED over the incandescent is that it's a very stable light. It's not gonna bust or break. It's shock resistant. And it's uh, especially like for a weapons mounted light. The light source is a Cree XML U2 LED. They run typically about 50,000 hours. Uh, it does have a really nice orange peel reflector, highly polished and it really will help with the light. Uh, you can see the stainless steel crenulated bezel. And this is a pretty aggressive bezel, which I like, especially for tactical lights. This is an excellent self-defense option, especially in a place where you can't carry, conceal carry. Uh, you can carry a flashlight like this and be able to use this to subdue attackers, to use it as a, a tool, and um, this is removable. Now the lens is a toughened, ultra clear glass. And it's going to be tough already, but then when you add the crenulated bezel, this will protect your lens as well. And this also allows for you to put on the Claris filter system. This is the diffuser for the X-T11, and just screws very nicely into the end. And it gives you a nice diffused light beam, kind of spreads the light out. Uh, it does come in a blue, green, and red for whatever purpose you need. Uh, and they're all sold separately and individually. Now the crenulated bezel not only can be used as a self-defense tool, but if you have the light set onto a table, you'll be able to note that the light is on. It has nice checkering here around the back and around the body itself here. Uh, this will give you a good gripping surface, but because of all of the vent areas and everything else, this light is easy to grab and if it slips, you're going to be able to grab hold of it. Okay, we're going to check out the RS-11 and see what she'll do. Okay, we're going to start out here with the high setting. This is the 620 lumens. Uh, this is about 25 yards. Really a nice, great spotlight, but it also has flood around. We're going to shine up here into the trees. Just really brightens up the whole area. Now let's go down to our medium setting, and what we're going to do is just press and hold. We drop down. Now this is 150 lumens. We're going to take a look at the fence, still nice spotlight, the flood is still pretty decent, it's just not quite as intense, but we're still getting a pretty decent amount of light. Now we're going to drop it down to the very low setting. Now, you can see the pavement right here in front, and uh, this is about 10 yards out, 
great for low level light task, um, map reading, being able to see something in your pack. But, uh, and actually with a naked eye, it does hit the fence pretty decently. It does illuminate somewhat. See my hand here at 10 lumens. Again, this will go for nine days. Okay, here we're showing some field shots with the RS-11. Looking at about 50 yards at that little bush line Moves on out to about 75 yards with the trees Here's a little bit of some pool action in the water. I'm going to cut the light off. Nothing. Here we've got the bright beam. Really lights up the entire pool. We're going down to the medium setting. Same thing. Really the pool is very well lit. Of course we go down to the little setting and just a little blue dot. The Claris RS11, a very versatile, incredible light, one that you can keep charged no matter where you are. Now I want to thank Marshall at GoingGear.com for providing the flashlight. And uh, you can go to GoingGear.com and get a 10% discount using Sooch when you check out. Plus you get free shipping for any orders over $49. So just a great deal. Marshall's a good friend of mine. Check out GoingGear.com. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. What's up, Zane? These are my helpers tonight. 